rising, rising. You already know what we finna get into. We finna get into these messages and see what our Elohim wants us to know at this time. Some hustle messages. What does our Elohim want us? So we have hustling multiple resources. So somebody getting a hustle on here. We have signed that damn contract. You're in for a sweet surprise. We have unnecessary spending. See, you, you spend, you do that unnecessary spending, your bank account going to end up on zero. But no, this situation will bear fruit right after that. We have right path. So get your hustle on then. Yeah, a huge breakthrough finally. So you have, you have, a, you're have you going to have a huge breakthrough this coming through for you finally okay so if your bank account was on zero we got luck is on your side at this time S some of you are about to land a badass job or a, a position where you will be able to pay off karmic debt have an abundance mentality confirmation have an abundance mentality think abundantly and move in silence. Don't tell nobody. Okay? Don't tell nobody. Okay? You finna be a money magnet. A money magnet. We gonna pull some good business, bad business. Good Benny, bad Benny. Stay the fuck up all my business. Sleep all my business, my business, my business. Stay the fuck up my business. Yeah, you gotta keep folks out your business. Cause everybody ain't gonna be happy to see you hustling, having multiple resources, getting contracts breakthroughs being lucky being blessed you know thinking abundantly getting breakthroughs uh landing badass jobs being a magnet to the things that you want here yeah we have good business bad business don't be too trusting you could be too trusting that's why you need to move in silence because people ain't gonna like to see you happy just what i was saying about what you got going on and how you moving. So you're going to have to keep this one on the hush. Keep it all on the hush. If you want to talk to somebody, talk to the divine and tell the divine, thank you. We have good business, bad business, good business, return on investment. So whatever you've been investing in, in investing in, <laughs> I'm all tough, investing in, <laughs> investing in, um it's you're gonna have a return on the things that you have invested in here we have good business bad business okay so you can have an online business or a small business too as well at the top we got good business bad business and i put both so this is good and bad business the bad business part is you thinking small the good business is, bitch, think big, think big, bitch. <laughs> you know that video that was going viral? Um, you're thinking small. You need to be thinking big, bitch. Think big, bitch. So the bad business is, you're thinking small.
good business. Think big, bitch. Also, there's good and bad to the business aspect of things. Keep your eye open. Again, don't be too trusting because sometimes, you know, how people be like, oh, it's just business. Don't be too trusting, you know. People in it to win it. We have here, good business, bad business. Bad business, she wasn't getting enough exposure here. Good business, bad business. The good business is that you're going to be popular or you are popular. You went from not getting enough exposure to being popular here. Also, we got good business, bad business, bad business, stolen documents. Keep your documentation, um, your ideas, and things to yourself. Because people will try to steal them or people will try to steal from you. Good business, praying over your endeavors. So if you was praying over your endeavors, um, good business. Bottom of the deck, good business. Keep faith. Keep your faith. Yeah, continue to pray over the, over your endeavors and the things that you want. some manifestation messages here for you it says here I take inspired action towards success so when you get ex when, when you get inspired you be like you going and do that thing make it or you know plan it out or map it out we got a map right here my desires are clear and are ma manifesting as planned so your manifestations are coming in here. It says here, I am unique and only I can do what I do. So only you can do it the way that you do. Even if you do the same things as others, right? Because ain't nothing new under the sun. You're going to have that. Uh, there's something that you give that only you can give. You've been manifesting a lot. How that just spilled out. You attract everlasting flow. Money magnet. Double confirmation of you being this money magnet. Ain't chasing money. Chasing the freedom that comes with it. You celebrate your wins and your failures. You have all the tools you and resources you need to create success. The Most High always surprises you with gifts. So you about to get a surprise coming in. It's going to be divine. It says here, my reality is a reflection of my beliefs. Everything is happening for you. You're always growing and transforming. You create your own beliefs. It says here, I will see it when I believe it. I believe in my success. You believe in yourself. You will see it. It says there, are, there is plenty of abundance for everyone. Your success is your decision, which you deem is successful. Not what society deem is success or anybody else, but what you deem is success. It says here, I reach, I reach, I reach success by staying focused on my goals. So remain focused. Uh, this is the ages that you could have started, you know, with hustling. These could be the ages that you are. And these could be the ages where things will come into fruition for you. We have 36, 41, 38, 32, 16, 31, 22, 26, 29, 45, 25 1 27 18 because 
There is some hustling babies. Okay. You know they be getting work out the hoo-ha. And there are some hustling teens and, you know, kids and things of that nature. They be getting to a bag, too. Millionaires as young kids. So this could even, if a parent is listening and they, and they kid got something going on, be there for them. You know, make sure you look over contracts. Look things over. Get that legal representation. Make sure everything is on the up and up. Make sure you support. So I'm going to go on and... Um, Put in that work with that Eight of Pentacles. A lot of y'all are committed to that growth, perfection, clarity. A lot of y'all are in y'all purpose. Love what you do. Yeah, putting in that work, things are going to clear up for y'all. Remember to, you know, sometimes it's okay to be stingy with y'all energy and with y'all ideas and stuff because people will try to take them. You have people who are in slight competition with you, right? That were trying to take your blessings. That's why you have to be quiet. You could have blocked these individuals out. But these people, we got the moon here. They had hidden intentions. These people watch you and stalk you. So you got to walk away. You had to walk away and leave people out in the cold. If you got if you haven't done that yet, I mean it's something that you got to do. Because these people are trying to take from you so that they can persevere over you. At the same time having you trapped and stuck. So you know, sometimes people be crazy, okay? They trying to battle you. So, if you have pushed some people away, good for you cuz they wasn't no good for you anyway. They wanted your possibilities and your abundance, nine of pentacles, and your wish fulfillment. So they wanted to be in competition with you. But this Empress energy, in competition with the ideas and the things that you were launching, your own friends here. And you could even be a masculine and Empress energy too as well, but these individuals were in competition with what you were launching in your ideas and the action that you was taking people that you celebrated and your friends here since you were getting the victory and getting good news in your life and being inspired having that inspiring energy they wanted to backstab and betray you any way that they could for money opportunity they wanted your legacy they wanted your love with this king of cups they wanted your foundation, your legacy, your fruits, whatever you were creating and whatever you were working on, your long lasting projects that you had desire for. People from your past, family and or friends, could even be lovers too as well. But judgment has been called on that because they can't have, they can't control and have what is meant for you. And that's why the tower is here. They ask getting thrown out the building, setting shit on fire and shit. <laughs> because this crown is for you. This is what you want. And they wanted what you wanted. So it wasn't coming from a pure place. You were coming from a place of innocence for what you wanted. And that's why you're going to have peace, love, and joy. And you're going to get this divine gift and opportunity here. And that divine gift and opportunity is going to give you more possibilities, more opportunities. It's not just one. You're going to have unlimited here. Um, 
you know, so take that leap of faith. You have a lot of potential here. And follow your instincts and remain strong and keep your faith. And you got it. Keep your faith and keep that love. You got it. Keep loving and working on your dreams and keep manifesting. That was just all in a row, you know. Be that lead. But you definitely, yeah, keep, keep, and then you could even have to block some lovers out. But block them people out and walk away when you need to. Leave their ass out in the cold. It's okay. What just ran across my mind is they cannot be you. It's not for them. But they can get their own. <laughs> they can get their own. Instead of trying to battle you and cause struggle to your blessings. They could put that same energy and time and get their own. Because you, your blessing, your cup overfloweth with blessings. Because you're in alignment with you and what you need. See, these individuals want you to lose. But no, you're going to get karmic justice for wh whomever and whatever. Yeah, some of you all are artists, splitting the deck. Some of you are artists, whatever you do, whatever you create. Okay, remain that warrior too as well. Protect your stuff. Yeah, a lot of you have um, the attributes of the most high. Benevolence and compassion. Recognize the internal force within yourself and others. You're in alignment. And this is another reason why these people cannot do you, be you, and have what's for you. Because you're in, in alignment with the most high. So they can't have it. What they need to do is seek the Messiah. They need to seek the son. Instead of trying to rob a son. They need to seek the sun for themselves. Connect with Yahshua. So that they can know the desires of their heart. And get what they want. And get what they want to manifest. But not you or yours. This could have been what you done. Uh, seek the divine. A lot of these people are addicts. They could even be addicted to you and your endeavors. But these people are addicts. They could be suffering from, you know, certain addictions and things of that nature. But the addictions can clear up. Um, connect with the divine. He'll heal you. It's wonders. Wonders. Blessings. Miracles. Them, the things that y'all are addicted to is destroying y'all. Person, places, or things. And But the... The Most High can avenge y'all. Give y'all balance. Get y'all back to y'all true nature. And every time y'all try to, y'all addicts try to seek to destroy another and their endeavors and their blessings, they will be avenged every time. So y'all just sabotaging y'all selves and fucking y'all selves up and what y'all can actually have in y'all lives. Yeah, it's time for y'all to learn so that y'all can transcend. Be of service to yourself for a good cause. Transcend with the divine. We have Yahweh. Because with him is eternity. He is the source and the substance. Who knows no limit and bounds. We are limited and bound. That word will help you all. Is all in all. 1 Corinthians 15 through 28. It's time for y'all to get those attributes, exercise beauty, knowledge, power, intelligence, love, justice, strength, wisdom, and foundation. 
but instead y'all want to gossip about another that who y'all trying to take from who y'all trying to be like who y'all trying to compete with y'all rather run y'all mouth than put in that work that's foolish with this fool y'all are some foolish bullies actually some gossiping foolish bullies but it's just sad because y'all gossiping and bullying and trying to make a mockery of somebody who you either want to be like who blessings you want and who you fucking competing with that's weird Y'all trying to bully a visionary? Somebody who has vision? Two? Y'all could be making a mockery out of them because of what they believe. But this, whoever this is, they have faith. And they have the ability to see things that the next person might not see as conceivable. But they do. So they claim it without regard for personal gain and they go at it. They go within with this hermit energy. They go within to focus on their inner life. Because once you get that inner life good, that outer life, things come down and transmute. It serves this person's personal creativity. But y'all gossip about them and their visions and, and, and what they see. Or what they want for themselves. But this person is a pioneer and a liberator. They have passion for doing and creating what has not been done yet. They free themselves from the negative thought patterns while y'all stay in them. Yeah, this person is networking. This is a networker. Share they share information or they share their artistry and whatever they do. Your art can be in many forms. Even if you work a nine to five, it's something that you do in that. Your art, what you do. But this person has empathy. You all don't. But y'all play detective and try to gossip about this person. But y'all don't. Y'all don't have no. <laughs> I want to say y'all ain't got no zhuzh. Y'all don't have nothing about y'all selves. Y'all seeking somebody else shit. But y'all talking. There's the talkers and there's the doers. Y'all seeking somebody else's shit. But y'all talking. Y'all playing detective to gossip about somebody else's shit. But y'all can't even see through y'all being addicts and addicted that y'all playing yourselves. Confirmation. Y'all playing yourselves. Y'all playing yourselves out of being in alignment. Y'all out of loss. Y'all ain't been seeking nothing, no justice and balance in y'all life. Y'all ain't trusting the divine, but y'all gossiping about those who do. Then when that beautiful stuff come into fruition, it be them same people that was talking that shit. They want to, oh, they want to share the blessing, share the wealth. And that ain't how that go.
you know that always. I always knew. <laughs> I always knew. <laughs> I always knew that you would. It says I outthink, outwork, and outfly everyone. Who gonna outwork me, boo? Where they at? This is this person mindset. Girl, girl, gal, you is bad. Boy, boy, man, you is bad. Bro, sis, is a whole mood. And I am bro, I am sis. Everything this person touches fire. They're dope. Thank you for coming. That's their affirmation talk. We have here my ideas popping, my work ethic hitting, my execution flawless. I was made for this. <laughs> Listen to the animals. Don't let me be misunderstood. We got little Uzi Vert, Erasure Social. You know what just came across my mind? People could want this person to not network. We have Ice Spice. Bikini Bottom, Kanye West featuring Little Baby, The Weekend, Hurricane, Fouché, Single as Fuck. Vito, Slow, Labrinth, Express Yourself, Bryson Tiller, Overtime, Megan Thee Stallion, Bless the Boot Freestyle, and R. Kelly, The Storm Is Over. Throw it in my bag. So go listen to these songs. There could be extra messages in there for you. So go listen to Thoy in my bag. R. Kelly, the storm is over. Megan the Stallion, bless the booth freestyle. I don't know what's going on with my speech, y'all. Excuse me. Labrinth, express yourself. Vito, slow. Fouché, single as F. Kanye West featuring Little Baby in the weekend, Hurricane. Ice Spice, Bikini Bottom. Bryson Tiller, Overtime. Little Uzi Vert, Erase Your Social. And the Animals, Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. We're going to go ahead and pull some Grateful Heart messages to go and wrap this up with. Keep networking, okay? Don't care about the naysayers. Listen to, um... You know, we just, uh, well, no, y'all don't know. I keep saying that. You know, we just ran across my mind. <laughs> no, but I'm going to keep saying it, okay? I know y'all don't know. But I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to tell y'all. Go listen to Wale, the 11111 full mixtape. Yeah, go listen to go listen to Wale cuz I keep in my in my mind 11111. This is 11111. So go listen to that Wale full mixtape. 
11 1 11. there could be some messages in there for you along with these songs that came out let's get you some grateful heart messages it says here, shout for joy, you heavens, Yahweh comforts his people. It says here, thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter the words, but to live by them. Yahweh is good and his love endures forever. This is the day Yahweh has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I will praise you, O Yahweh, with my whole heart. I will tell of your marvelous works. O oh, the joys of those who trust Yahweh. Yahweh is our refuge and strength and a very present help when in trouble. We praise you, Yahweh. We praise you for your name is near. People will tell of your wonderful deeds. Gratitude can transform common days into thanksgiving, routine jobs into joy, and change ordinary opportunities into blessings. It says here, Yahweh is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Memory keeps gratitude fresh and gratitude keeps faith fruitful. Oh, Yahweh, how majestic is your name in all the earth. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you shall glorify me. The words of Yahweh are pure. We have here, never lose the opportunity to see anything that is beautiful, for beauty is Yahweh's handwriting. A wayside sacrament, welcome it in every fair face, in every fair sky, in every fair flower, and thank Yahweh for it as a cup of blessing. Give thanks to Yahweh, for he is good and his faithful love endures forever. I'm going to end it with this. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of mine enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. So your cup gonna overflow. When I was young, I read a lot. I wrote poetry. I would have been a totally different person had I not been exposed to these things. I'm not saying I'm gonna change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the brain that will change the world. Sometimes a simple cadence can get in the way of greatness of a nigga's statements. And I feel I know a little bit of everything, but I've grown unfamiliar with limitations. See, I'm just a narrator that sees the world as a nigga who never made it. I'm forever debating nigga who's standing in the way of my standing ovation. <laughs> nigga, I'd be lying if I told you my mind isn't exhausted, but to recline is to say God's blessing wasn't as awesome as I flaunts it. See, I got more haters and naysayers than eight Lakers in Boston, so I happen to feel Jackson's along the way with this talking. See, I give my heart to an unforgiving genre where passion is frowned upon, where the muscles around them all in a league full of dry rhymes. I proceed to cannonball and loose cannon starts as often and crucified for the passionate ways. I'm only but a man, but man enough to challenge y'all. And I love you all, and I pray that you don't just think I'm smart, but you see my vision and know my heart. This is 11 1 11. 11 1 11. 11 1 11 is when it all makes sense. When my critics break down and make amends. When my supporters who've been supporting me since day one can tell you niggas that front it while they polishing. Guess what? While they got it. <laughs> I am just an artist. I am just a man. May not change the world, but let me inspire someone who can. Who can? I hope you all got a message from that read that'll help you along your journey. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.